Hello everyone, I'm Angel Wu. Welcome to Taiwan is my home. Coffee culture has been developing rapidly in Taiwan these years, growing coffee beans, baking coffee, creativity, etc. Taiwanese athletes participate in many international competitions and obtain new things from their experience. And a few Hong Kong college students think Taiwan is a place where everyone is willing to spend time to taste good coffee, so they came and opened their ideal little coffee shop. Though it's small, they still have to stress out of having to spend money for the beans and the machines. They did not change their goal. They not only care about coffee, they also make great specialty. On coffee cream with beautiful art. The three big boys prepare seriously in the coffee shop in the district of Taipei. Thirty minutes later, the shop will be opened. Hello. What do you want for today? I would like a cup of milk coffee. Milk coffee, okay. Serving customer with smile, his Guangdong tongue makes people curious. One year ago, these six Hong Kong boys with an average age of 24 came to Taiwan to open a coffee shop and started their coffee dream. Now it's Ted, Lynn, Colin, and Noddy taking care of the big and small things in the shop. If you think they are young and useless, then you will be wrong. These three big boys were all coffee professionals who won champions in many different competitions. Although they are many times the winner, they still take it seriously. We closed the shop at 10, and I would stay in the shop practicing until 2 or 3 in the morning. Keep practicing and Maybe that time, I didn't even have enough time to sleep. There is no pressures from competition in the shop, but there's something more challengeful than judges. It's the customers who drink coffee. Sometimes they would ask questions. Latte or macchiato? Latte. Latte? Two white parts, one with hairs, one with a face, big eyes. Please? Thank you. This is the perfectionist Ted. He always thinks there is no space for improvement no matter how well things are done. He would always say the bad things first. Like coffee. Actually, Nadi and I both think it's quite good. He would say the negatives. His coffee is the best. Yes, his the coffee is the best. I agree. Although Ted is sometimes loved by others for his picky character, but also because of his high standard ensures that every coffee sent to the customers is the best work. This is the image I created in a competition because the challenge is on the part where spinning the cup is required. During the procedure, I have to get it down from here and spin and do this. And the stability required is high. I give my customers what I like. And it would be another thing whether the customer likes it or not. But I think I would tell my customers that this is my favorite. And if the person comes drinks coffee, he would think that I am a coffee master and what I am trying to represent. Wow! Look, I haven't done this for a while. You can have this. Thank you. Warm? The meaning of warmth? This is your name? Okay, what are you doing? I'm photoshopping. Among the three people, Dottie is passionate and easy to make good relations with the customers. 
the shop is always full of smiles and laughter. So they made some good friends when they go for a tour. They really like our coffee and would want us to tell them some good places in Hong Kong or tell us some good spots in Taiwan and send some postcards. These big boys were all coffee professionals in Hong Kong, but because of their ages and thoughts were similar, and because they all like coffee, they decided to open a shop together. However, why didn't they open it in Hong Kong, but in Taiwan, which is strange to them? Taiwan is more... The rhythm of life is a bit slower, more relaxed, so like this, it's feeling. Taiwanese would want to spend some time to taste coffee, but in Hong Kong, takeaway is seen more often. They might buy a cup of coffee and finish it quickly and finish it. So yes, we decided to open our first shop in Taiwan. Lin Kwan, who always looks cool, does the social managing, always play bad cop. His way of doing things is a little more serious. And I think every shop needs this kind of character. Although he looks a little too serious, but actually Lincoln has a warm heart. When he sees a customer unhappy, and they would... And when they come order a coffee, Lincoln would draw that person's face or make something that would make that person happy or give that person a little encouragement. Making an image of the world happy, delicately, and the nice-smelling coffee has Lincoln's warm blessing. Because they like Taiwan, these Hong Kong college students run toward their goal with their passion. But the path of managing business was not easy. Because in the beginning, when we started this coffee shop, we spent more than we can imagine, so we had to add that cost into it. Of course, it's not everyone's. Everyone could add more, add more money. So, of course, some pay a little more, but basically, we all don't really bother about that because our relation is good. Actually, they do not only care about the art technique. The key of success is still making good tasting coffee. And the selection of coffee beans couldn't be omitted. Many people might be surprised by our art technique and they come to see it. But why would we insist to use coffee beans with this quality? We could say that their costs are higher because we want to tell everyone that our coffee is not only for visual, it also can be drank. And when you see it, you think it's beautiful, but when you drink it, it's still delicious. But no matter how good type of coffee beans is according to the climate and environment, the tastes are different. This also tests these big boys' ability. Coffee beans are actually, they are sensitive things. They could change by humidity, temperature, climate. It would be changed so uh, we would do our best to tune the size of the coffee powder. The amount would also infect the taste. So we would do our best to make it taste like what we want to represent. Insisting to make coffees that customers would like, in the beginning they spent a lot of money to buy this coffee machine. I thought 400,000 was really a big burden because actually if we buy this $700,000 coffee machine, maybe we could buy two ordinary coffee machines. Three. So we all hope to buy the best because opening a shop by ourselves is different from doing part job. Of course, we want to use the best things and present better things to customers. It's the passion to coffee that gave them bravery.
Although three people working together, sometimes they would have different opinions. Today they are having a meeting to decide the color of the logo. I think Tiefu Yulong is good. I think black is lame. Black again. So I thought about black and white. I want orange. Or Tiffany blue. No Tiffany blue. Although their opinions were different, but every discussion made them understand more about each other because their goals are the same to make good coffee. After two years of hard work, their dream started to glow. But this is not yet the end. Our dream is accomplished, but it is not yet our final goal. After fulfilling this dream, we still have more other things to do, such as opening shops in more places, earn more money, and how to make the shop better. Make more people know us, we're not perfect yet. Like opening shops in other places, which I just said, there's still a very long path to go. So, we hope we can do it. These Hong Kong big boys make their dreams come true in Taiwan. Every cup of coffee is their dream. In their future, they are going to continue their effort. Let every coffee spread its good smell in Taiwan. Coffee from the West makes the taste of Taiwan even better. And what will happen when the very eastern feng shui meets the western people? We will come back soon. Welcome back to Taiwan is my home. Do you believe in feng shui? In Taiwan, we can see a lot of effects of feng shui in little corners of life. Of course, whether it works or not, everyone has a different opinion. But there's a European who believes in feng shui with no doubt, and asked a master to teach him, which is quite hard to believe. And our next main character, he did not only learn, but also learned thoroughly and applied in many places in life. Feng Shui knowledge, let us see our second story. Windows like this, we don't like to have windows next to the entrance. Is it openings towards here? No, no. The two sides are opened like this, outwards, and in the left I have a window. To Chinese people, asking for Feng Shui is usual, but it's not to see foreigners. According to Feng Shui, seeing the kitchen just next to the entrance is not good. Especially, you can see where you cook, so it's not good. He is Lai Shui Li, a native French, who always liked to introduce himself to others that he is born in the year of dog. When he was 18 years old, he got into the French translated Yi Jing and Feng Shui books and went to the world of Yi Jing. Because he said he found the answer he was finding the whole time. Because in my childhood, we moved our house frequently. I think this place is good. And after moving to another house, I felt strange. Study was not good. Relations with friends did not go well. I have been thinking of it for a while. Why? So after reading Yu Jigen Feng Shui's book, okay, this is the problem. The house is important and destiny. What he learned in France was all electronic technology, but he was possessed by Yu Jing and Feng Shui. So he came to Taiwan to learn Chinese. When he went back to France, he met his Taiwanese wife Ting Yun Lai. It summoned his interest. Maybe it's his faith with Taiwan. The whole family moved back to Taiwan soon. I wasn't happy in France, not happy in work. I remember that I have a good memory of Taiwan. So I come back to Taiwan. come back to Taiwan and my money luck was better. We have a saying that don't be obsessed by feng shui, but you should believe it. The first thing he did after moving back to Taiwan was to take feng shui curriculums. Even people who understand Chinese can't necessarily understand these books. Furthermore, he is a French. In the beginning, he had many difficulties. It's hard to remember to me, in the beginning, combination of the heavily stems and earthly branches. 
is hard to remember. Besides the Chinese era, there's the directions made this French more dizzy. Because in the beginning, such as south, usually we say southeast in French. So in the start, even the direction is hard to catch. Because French and Chinese is the opposite, taking lessons 10 hours a week, learning I Ching fortune telling. Facing books hard to understand, Lai dispatched the hard words into diagrams, make an effective learning formula himself. This is easy. Hexagram with a wood more. Eldest daughter. Then there's the directions. Learning step by step. Besides studying himself hardly for above four hours a day when he's vacant, Lai took the chance to study hardly. This is a secret weapon. This is a pamphlet. I can bring and see it anywhere. At first, it's always when waiting the bus or walking in the street, picking children when walking, then keep seeing, keep seeing, memorize it slowly, touching these things for long to the ups and downs in life, Lai started to have a different attitude towards life. I had different thoughts then. For example, I learned destiny, luck, and feng shui. This is a very basic concept, a very basic concept. If you don't have luck, just hide. Is luck good? It's okay. It's such a simple thought. The house wealth direction would be here. So this room is... It would be okay to use this as an office. Lengthy self-learning process. Lai think it's not enough. Becoming apprentice two years ago, he decided to become a professional fortune teller. Taking apprentice, we must investigate for a while, so it must go through a half to a year, about two year and a half. Then we decide to take them as apprentice. East and West has different cultures. Lai always paid more efforts than others to understand deeply from the heart. When we are in the class, we will talk about people in history novels, people in autumn and spring he might can't accept, so I don't really understand these people. But I know he would go home and ask his wife, even see the novel instead, seeing some water margin, because purple star astrology would relate to this, he would find some information. Though learning path is not easy, lies not lonely. Apprentice pals have strong bonds, learning from each other, the fortune-telling service the temple have. Two days, right? Morning to night, you want to go out? I come out, hello. Master is coming out. When friends meet hard quest, Lai would use what he learned to help his friends. Since they are beginners, then in the future he had to learn electional astrology, Chimen Dunjia. There are eight subjects to learn, so this may be need three to four more years. He loves Chinese ancient culture about Taiwan makes him fascinated too. At first, his wife worried if he could adapt or not. It seems that she worried too much. He likes everything in Taiwan, including night market culture in Taiwan. And he likes quick fries, stinky tofu. Even the stinky tofu foreigners hate, he eats. Pork blood, he loves it. Rather than saying he likes Taiwan life very much, we should say he should be born in Taiwan. Living in Taiwan, even his wife thinks Lai must be a Taiwanese in his before life. Rainy days, he wears blue and white sandals. Then this short pants and shirt, he could go out. It's something impossible in France. I always joke on him he must be Taiwanese in his before life or say he have a very local Taiwanese soul. Though using many time on researching Yijing, but as a father, Lai cared and educated the children himself, never ask others. 
he is willing to do it himself. No matter how tired I am, I take care of the kids. You see, a big man caring for the kids, milk bottle, diapers, and play with them slowly. Take note in his cognitive development, touching development, geometry, construction, and stuff. Lai's house worships Saint the Emperor Guan, burning scent three times a day, pray for child's health. First and fifteenth of Lunar New Year, prepare fruits and food to worship. I must have prayed a lot to get this kind of husband. I always say to my daughter, you cannot take of me when I'm old, it's okay, but you can't not take care of your dad. I will go to your house to scold you, all he did for the two daughters, really. One who studies fortune-telling how he trained, Lai is not an exception. Besides meditating, he also asks the seniors to exchange reviews. Because he likes learning, our most ancient Chinese culture, usually foreigners believe in Jesus, Catholic. They seldom touch our religion. The religion passed till now is already four to five thousand years. He can still touch it. Lai thinks only by absorbing knowledge from the out, refining heart and character, can one become a good fortune teller. Because I think meditating is important to our heart, sometimes our heart will be a bit messy, so we see feng shui. When we fortune telling, we won't see the point then. Meditating can help us to put our hearts in the middle. I meditate in the house nearly every day because I think it's important to our daily life. I think it's more safe, won't think too much, won't scold children and wife for nothing. So it's really helpful. smokes in the temple. Lai had went over many temples in the years. It's a way to determine his religion already. Praying in the land of DT temple as usual, Lai laid a wish. I like Taiwan very much because to me, Taiwan is uh, my second home. Eight years in Taiwan already, a total of 12 years, so I will keep staying in Taiwan learning with my teacher because I have many to learn, not yet done. I hope to stay in Taiwan. He did his best to be traditional Taiwanese, live from France, with a religious heart, stands on the land of Taiwan, going straight towards his dream. Many times when we face difficulties, we'd say this is hard, that's impossible, but the two main guests today made us see hard or not is decided by ourselves to learn or not. Thank you for watching. See you next time.